Hey everybody, Rob Nelson here. Now today we're talking about fire. It is fire season. I don't want you to get the wrong impression of fire. You could get that very easily if you just watch the news. Destructive wildfire, the disaster. Because they're so overwhelmed, it's fierce, fast moving and fatal. And I'm sure those people also know that fire can be good, but you need to not get the wrong impression of fire. I have eight things that everybody should know about fires. First, it's really important to understand that a lot of plants and animals need fire to survive. Uh, one great example of that is the longleaf pine forest that pretty much dominated the entire South. In fact, they made up most of the South, but now 97% of that is gone, in part because we logged all of it and to bring it back, we need fire. Number two. Now the fires in these forests were traditionally lit either by random lightning strikes or Native Americans to try to hunt and gather food and clear land and stuff. But basically any habitat would be burnt every one to five years. But when Europeans came, they brought disease and they brought warfare. They wiped out this culture of burning. So we're trying to bring back the traditional forests and to do that, we need to bring back the routine fires. Number three, if you suppress burning, basically you stop burning across most of the country, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a lot of fuel that builds up in dead branches and pine cones and straw. Those fires are really big fires when they light and they can actually burn the entire forest. So they'll kill not only the hardwoods like oak trees and whatnot, but they'll also kill all the big pine trees. Basically you'll start with nothing when that forest fire goes through an area. And those are really dangerous because they're hard to control. Number four, there's actually a lot of diversity in these fire dependent systems like Longleaf Forest. And part of the reason that diversity exists is that fire, when it comes through, does not burn through in a consistent manner. If there's pine cones on the ground, then it burns hotter and more intense in those areas, for instance. So it creates this mosaic environment after it goes through. And that allows different species to colonize different parts of that habitat, creating more diversity. Number five, believe it or not, the Southeast has about 8 million acres of controlled or managed burns a year, which is almost as much as the West has in forest fires. Number six, and one of the real dangers with fire in general is the smoke. The smoke's actually not that good for you. It's actually really bad for you. So when you're around a campfire, don't be breathing in that smoke. But forest managers have to make sure that when they do these controlled burns, uh, that the smoke gets up and away from people. Number seven, the US Forest Service is actually responsible for doing a lot of the firefighting. Uh, they also do a lot of research on all sorts of things from insects to water to, um, you know, fire itself. And number eight. Catch on, destroy, and your forest is nothing. Nothing for anybody. Fire is good, both for us and for the environment. It's a win-win for everybody if we have fire. And that's why the message of the new Smokey is to prevent human-caused fires. Manage fires, that's totally different. Problem is, it can be a tad confusing. The take-home message, fire can be good. So I hope you guys learned something. I actually encourage you to check out this video. It's really complex how it started early in history and then moved to what we have today. And, and everything that the scientists are finding out is super interesting. And I gotta go visit some researchers, so I'm communicating that to you. Have you ever had a forest fire near you? Leave your comments down below.